Lego fans, here is my revised top 10 Lego sets for investing here in 2022. You ready? Here we go. Back in May, I originally posted a video that was my top 10 retiring Lego sets for 2022 for investing. Now, of course, throughout the year, stock changes, discounts, inventory, extended retirement dates, all of those factors play into whether a set is going to be a great investment or not. So based on the data that we have today, I believe I'm shooting this on December 6th of 2022, I think that there's been some changes to my top 10 list and I'm gonna give you my revised and my updated list for the sets that I'm seeing right now. On the original list, if you wanna check out the video, you can hit up the exclamation point in the top corner there. On the original video at number 10, I had the Volkswagen T2 camper van. And I actually think that set will do pretty well for investing. If you were picking up that set at the original MSRP, I would probably avoid paying $180 for it, but I've been able to pick up five of them for 120 bucks. But it's no longer actually in my top 10 list. The set that I would put at number 10 is this set, the Star Wars Ultimate Ultimate Collector Series Imperial Star Destroyer. This set I've talked about several times here on the channel. I've actually been pretty hard on this set. One, because of it has such a high dollar value, there's not a ton of minifigures included, and there's a lot of things going against this set. Additionally, we didn't have a ton of data on how these, of course, I coined the term ultimate, ultimate collector series sets, like these ultra large sets that are in the 500 plus dollar range. We have no data on how they're gonna perform post-retirement. This is actually gonna be the first one to ever retire. So time is going to tell whether or not this set is going to be a great investment, but the reason it's made my top 10 list is it actually kind of disappeared under the radar. I anticipated this to linger towards Christmas, maybe even post Christmas time, and we were gonna find some discounts on this particular Lego set. Now, what we haven't found is one, very many discounts, and two, much stock or inventory left. At the time I'm shooting this video, I don't think that you can pick up this set at any retailer at MSRP anymore here in the US. The original MSRP on this set was $700, and what I'm seeing right now already on the secondary market is it trending anywhere from $950 to $1,050. Now, that's the initial post-retirement jump, that is if we don't find any more stock at MSRP. So, if it continues on that trend, there is a potential that this set could be worth anywhere from $1,200 to $1,500 at the end of 2023, shooting towards the $1,500 to $1,600 range sometime in 2024. If you were able to find this set for like $50 to $100 off, that makes it an incredible investment. Although I'm not totally confident we're gonna eclipse the $1,200 mark anytime soon. That is a ton of money to drop on a Lego set that, although really huge, is just a bunch of gray pieces. The build experience from what I've heard, although I have not built it, is not all that great. It's not one of the most iconic Star Wars ships, although it is very iconic. Um, I'm thinking that this set is going to probably cap its value at around $1,100. So once it hits the $1,100 point, I'm gonna sell the actually three of these that I have. I talked about in a video where I originally had one, I picked up a couple others on a whim. I was able to pick them up for like $100 off using a discount and a coupon code. So I've got three of these. If I can get $1,100 for each of these, I will be wildly impressed and would love to see that. But if it continues to trend upwards, it would be amazing if this set could eclipse the $1,500 mark in the next couple years. So at set number nine on my original list, I had the Carnage helmet or head, bust, whatever you're calling it. Uh, stay tuned to see if that set makes it any higher or if I completely removed it. I won't, uh, I won't give you a spoiler here yet, but I have updated my number nine. And the number nine set that I have on my updated top 10 retiring list is the Harry Potter Attack on the Burrow Lego set. Now, if you were able to tune in back in May to my original top 10 list, I actually had this set at number three, pretty high up on the list. The reason I've dropped it a little bit farther down on the list, although still in the top 10, is we haven't seen a ton of discounts on this particular Lego set. It is a Target exclusive, and I believe it's sold out currently on lego.com. I'm not sure if it's sold out on Target at the time I'm shooting this video. I remember the last time I checked, I believe it was still available on Target.com. But 
We haven't seen a ton of discounts. I think it's been slowly hoarded over the last couple months since I originally posted the video. So I still think it to be an incredible investment based on the number of minifigures are, that are included and just the iconic scene that is the attack on the burrow. So I think this set is actually gonna do really well. I've moved it slightly down just because I have found it harder to find on discount. And because of that, you're buying it at MSRP and it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get your return on investment. My original number eight back in May was the Bad Batch shuttle from Star Wars. It had a ton of exclusive minifigures. I don't believe all of them are exclusive anymore. So that kind of hurt the potential investment on that set, and I believe it's been overly hoarded. But I have updated my number eight spot to the first flying lesson from Harry Potter. The reason I'm really high on this set, and if you watched my video where I talked about Harry Potter, which you can find in the top corner right there, I talked about all of the Harry Potter sets that are retiring here in 2022. I have gone pretty deep on this set. I think I have at this point now 25 or 26 of these first flying lesson Lego sets. The reason I'm so high on this set now, one, is because it's unavailable at retailers everywhere. It was a Kohl's store and Kohl's.com exclusive. So the only place you could find this set was at a Lego store or at a Kohl's store. Because Kohl's inventory management is not that good and consistently it was out of stock online, I don't believe this set is overly hoarded. It has one of the 20th anniversary figs as part of it in the Professor Quirrell gold minifigure. And I don't think that the production on this was super high. So limited availability, limited hoarding, and the fact that it is a 20th anniversary set with a short shelf life, I think will allow this set to maybe be a 60, 70, or $80 set by next Christmas. I was picking them up consistently for 17, 18, 19 dollars after some fancy footwork with Kohl's cash. So, hoping my return on investment for the few that I have is great. If you're able to find any at MSRP, I would pick them up while you still can. On my original list back in May, I had the 123 Sesame Street idea set at number 7. But I've updated that, and at number 7 on this current list, I have the Superheroes Carnage Head. The reason this set has moved up a couple spots on the list is because it has retail limited availability only available at lego.com, lego stores, target.com, and target stores. We rarely saw a discount on this set. I bought most of mine that I have, I think I have six or seven of them, I bought most of them at $47.99 when they had a small 20% discount in the middle of the summer on target.com. And we really never saw a discount on this Lego set ever again. So they weren't bought in massive amounts by collectors and investors. And at the time that I'm shooting this video, it is sold out at Target stores, Target.com, Lego.com, and most Lego stores. So I believe already on the secondary market, this $60 set is trending at anywhere from $100 to $110. Now I don't anticipate it's going to get up to the TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet levels. But because it hasn't been overly hoarded and is the first Target exclusive Marvel helmet to retire, I think we're going to see this set get up to $150 here in the next couple months. So it's moved up on my list. If you were able to pick up a few of these, I think this is going to be an incredible investment. In our number six spot on the original list, I had the Bro Thor's new Asgard Lego set. I loved this set because it had the Bro Thor minifigure as part of it. Hilarious. Anyway, I talked about it in the previous video, but the number six spot has changed. And we've got a brand new Lego set on the list in the number six spot, and that is the 1989 Batman Batwing. Uh, this set, I probably mistakenly left off my original top 10 list. I don't know why I did. Because the 1989 Batmobile has skyrocketed in value, I, I was a little bit skeptical that people were gonna over hoard this. Um, it hasn't found itself on many discounts, so really the only way that you were able to pick this up was like at MSRP and some using some fancy footwork or gift with purchases was really the only way you could find a discount on this set. On lego.com, like the limit was typically five, which is higher for a large dollar value set. So I've only picked up two of these, two, and I'm bummed that I only have two. The reason that I'm bummed that I only have two of these is because it is now sold out at every retailer. It's sold out at lego.com. I can't find it available anywhere. We're already trending at 300 to 350 on the secondary market for this set. And at this point, the sky really is the limit because I don't know if there's a ton of inventory out there from collectors and investors. 
and Batman phenoms and Batman collectors are crazy. Now, the reason I didn't go super deep on investing in the 1989 Batmobile was because the original, the original UCS Tumblr, was one of the worst performing sets of all time for LEGO investing. And then they just re-released it and it destroyed the value of the original one. So I'm like, maybe Batman collectors aren't as hype as I thought they were. Turns out they are. They just like the more vintage LEGO sets. So we found out that the ideal LEGO collector for the Batman line clearly loves the 1989 series. So we've got the 1989 Batmobile and the 1989 Batwing. This set, I would love to see it up to $400 by next Christmas if we can get that. I would imagine it's probably going to be around $360 or $370, but this set has potential to take off in value if we don't find any other stock at MSRP. At number five on my original list, I had the Ninjago City Gardens. Of course, shortly after I posted the video, an announcement came out that said that set has been extended to not 2023, but 2024. So we're going to see the Ninjago City Gardens on the market for some time. But there is an updated number five spot on the list. And at number five, we have the 123 Sesame Street Ideas set. Uh, this set has moved up a couple spots. It's uh, The reason it has moved up is because it's no longer available at any retailer. It's not overly hoarded. You could rarely find discounts. I know the only discount I heard people finding on this particular Lego set was at walmart.com. Certain regional exclusive Walmart stores carried this set. People were picking it up anywhere from $60 to $70, which is a great investment, a great way to pick up an awesome Lego set with some extremely collectible minifigures. I think the minifigures are the draw for this particular Lego set. If we don't find a re-release of the Sesame Street minifigures, this set I think is a $200 to $250 Lego set in the next couple years. Uh, super exclusive, very rare, is an idea set, which means it had a limited shelf life and we didn't have much hoarding of this particular Lego set. Right here, what you see, this is the only one I have. Pretty bummed that I only have one of them. I rarely invest in Lego sets on the secondary market. This would be one of the exceptions I might make to pick it up right now at $150, $160, or $170 if I can find it. But this set is going to do really well post-retirement. If you have your chance to pick one up at MSRP at a Barnes & Noble store, which is like the only place that I saw any stock left, I would do it while you still can. So we're already at spot number four. On the original list back in May, I had the Disney Castle in the number four spot. But I've updated the list, and the new number four spot goes to the classic TV series, Batmobile. Now, if you were able to check out the original list, you know that this was my original number one. Uh, and I'm actually kind of bummed that it is taken away from the number one spot on my updated and my revised list. The reason is several of the sets that I've already mentioned are already out of stock. This is out of stock at the time I'm shooting this video on lego.com, but it is still in stock at walmart.com. It is still in stock at most Walmart stores. We haven't seen many discounts on this Lego set it has trended regularly at $30. So I really don't know how much stock is left. And I think this set has been slowly over hoarded. Now, I don't know if my video was the one that made it or put it on the radar, but it is a Walmart exclusive and is already sold out on lego.com. So it's still in my top 10, even it's still in my top five. This is number four. The minifigures are exclusive. As I talked about earlier, uh, collectors of Lego Batman love the vintage stuff. This is a vintage classic TV series Batmobile. I still think it's gonna do really well post-retirement and time will tell how long it takes the outstanding stock at Walmart stores and walmart.com to dry up, but definitely a 50, 60, $70 Lego set here in the next few months. So I mentioned just a bit ago, my original number three spot was for the Attack on the Burrow Lego set, which has moved down just a couple spots. But there is a brand new Lego set on the top 10 list that has moved into the number three Lego spot. And that set is the Harry Potter Hogwarts Wizards Chess Lego set. Uh, this set, not on my top 10, not originally on my radar at all. I knew it was a Target exclusive. And I knew chess sets were collectible, but the pieces as part of this Lego set weren't all that unique. But we do have a 20th anniversary Professor Snape gold minifigure that's part of this Lego set. 
There are really only two reasons I put this at the number three spot on my top 10 retiring Lego sets for 2022. It is because of that one, that exclusive Professor Snape gold minifigure, and two, I think this is going to be one of the most limited stock that you can find on the secondary market for an investing Lego set. Now there are gonna be, of course, one-offs that have less inventory, but the demand for this set is going to be really high because it has a collectible minifigure that is part of it. And it's cool. It has playability, it's really awesome. It's part of a very popular Harry Potter line. And the stock disappeared like that. No one was expecting this to just disappear like a few days after Black Friday. It was available for $47.99, 20% off. Not a crazy huge discount. I knew some investors that were picking it up at that price, but I am blown away that this the stock is gone. You can't find it at any Target stores around me. It's gone from Target.com, Lego.com, and Lego stores. If you are able to find this set at MSRP, I would buy it. I would buy five more if I could find them at MSRP because this set right here is already hitting towards the $110 and $120 mark on the secondary market. I think it is a definite winner. I'm, I think I might be projecting a little bit, but if this set was $150 to $160 by next Christmas, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, it's really cool. It has Harry, Hermione, and Ron, and that exclusive gold Professor Snape minifigure. So this is a winner if you have it. I have five. I wish I had 30. I only have five. And time will tell how far this set can appreciate in value. And number two on my original list that I had, I had the Technic Bugatti Chiron, but that set has been overtaken by another brand new Lego set joining us on the updated top 10 retiring Lego sets for 2022. And that set is the NASA Apollo Saturn V Lego set. Uh, there is a reason I did not have this set originally on my top 10 list. This set is actually a remake. Originally, it was a Lego Ideas set Lego remade it with a new set number, and I believe, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, I think they added or adjusted one piece to increase the structural stability of it. So this set was eff effectively a shot-for-shot -shot remake with a new set number. So I was like, okay, remakes, I know a bunch of people had hoarded the original one, it had skyrocketed in value when it originally retired, and then they said, hey, we're remaking that set. And then the price dropped dramatically on the secondary market, and this set has been available consistently over the last couple years at $120. There have been very few discounts on this particular Lego set, so it hasn't been overly hoarded for the second time. I think the original stock on the Ideas version is still pretty heavily hoarded, but at the time that I'm shooting this video, it was on the second round, an Amazon exclusive and a Lego.com exclusive. So I don't believe that there's any more stock available at Lego.com or any more stock available at Amazon. I've seen it periodically pump, you know, pop in and out of stock on Amazon over the last couple days, but I think effectively we've cleared out the entire inventory at MSRP for the Saturn V and we're already at $200 to $210 on the secondary market for this Lego set. Now I have this in the number two spot which is quite bold. Do I think this set like is the best investment of all time? I don't. The reason I have it in the number two spot it is one of the best price per pieces you can get on any Lego set of all time. It displays incredibly well. There are a ton of Lego space and NASA fans out there. I think the desirability on the secondary market is huge. People aren't afraid to pay three and $400 for a Lego set. I'm not saying it's gonna get up to that anytime soon, but if it got past the $250 and $300 range in the next few years, I wouldn't be surprised. And because they already remade it, of course, Lego can do whatever they want. Because they already remade it, I have a hard time believing that they're going to remake this set for a third time. So I think this set, at least for now, we have a guarantee that it's going to be officially retired here in the next couple months on lego.com. The stock is gone, and this set has the potential to figuratively and literally shoot to the moon as far as lego investing goes. So if you have some as part of your uh, inventory or your investment portfolio, Let's see, I'm gonna name it and claim it right here. Next Christmas, this set is probably $240, maybe $250 on the secondary market. 
And now, without further to do, we have our number one set that I believe is probably the best investment at the time that I'm shooting this video for 2022. I already mentioned on my original list, it was the classic TV series Batmobile, which has moved down three spots to the number four spot. But the number one investing set, in my opinion, again, my opinion for 2022 is, you're waiting for me to say it, aren't you? Okay, I won't keep you waiting any longer, is the 71040 Disney Castle. That's right, the collectible, iconic, 4,000 plus piece Disney Castle, amazingly iconic Lego set. Uh, one of the most incredible Lego sets that's ever been produced. So iconic that Disney fans, non-Lego fans, everybody in my life have at some point talked about this particular Lego set. It has moved up from my number four spot to the number one spot. The reason I believe this Lego set was able to make such a significant jump is that the stock dried up relatively quickly. I'll be honest, I originally thought we might see the inventory on this Lego set linger into 2023 at the January, February timeframe. I was going to anticipate Lego and Lego stores and other retailers having to discount this Lego set to clear out the final inventory. The reason that I say that is because this set has been on the market for five, six, seven years. Somewhere it's been on the it's been on the market for a long time. And when a, when a set is on the market for a long time, that typically decreases the demand because those that have had the chance to buy that Lego set have already purchased it. Uh, I've purchased one, bought and sold a couple. Like it's so awesome to build. Many Disney friends and Lego fans I know have this Lego set already. But because it disappeared slightly under the radar, I know there's a ton of inventory out there, but we're already seeing this particular Lego set trend at the 500, 550, depending if you have a perfect mint condition box, maybe $600 price range for this Lego set. I did not anticipate it to jump that high. I thought once the stock had dried up, we'd be at like 450, then like 460, and it would be slow going to get this set back up to the 500 and 550 dollar price range but it looks like now that all the stock is gone this set is going to be a definite winner here's a caveat before you go all in on finding as many of these as you can at msrp i would not be surprised if literally in january we see an exact shot for shot remake of this lego set the lego group consistently has done that for widely popular lego sets this set is widely popular. We could see them make a $500 or $600 version, which I think would ultimately devalue this one from appreciating above that mark. There are a lot of risk factors to investing in this Lego set purely based on remake potential. But if this set is not remade in any form over the next few years, I believe it will be one of the best investing Lego sets of all time. We could talk $600, $650, $700 by two to three years, 2025 Christmas time for this set. Again, that is if none of the minifigures are remade, which I believe they are all still exclusive to this set, and if a castle is not remade. We could find a different one. We could find a new one. There's a ton of factors. But if you are able to find this set at MSRP, at a Legoland store, at a lego.com or a lego uh, brand retail store i would pick it up because i still think it's going to be one of the if not the best investment for lego here in 2022. so there you have it there's my updated top 10 retiring lego sets for investing here in 2022. i hope this list was super helpful to you uh, I hope I gave you some insight on why I changed some of my original list but before I continue I do want to say this there are a few sets that were taken off the top 10 that I originally had on there. Those sets were the Volkswagen T2 camper van. I talked about that briefly at the beginning of the video. I think it's going to be a great investment, but it didn't look like the stock dried up as quickly as I anticipated. You can still buy that set at MSRP. 
it just may n not get up to like the 250 280 dollar range like i originally anticipated that it could the other set that i took off the list was the bad batch shuttle from star wars uh, that set i think is pretty overly hoarded at this point there are still a ton of stock on amazon macy's shields because it is available at virtually every retailer which i talked about in the original video um, i think that's probably hurt its investment potential I was able to pick up a bunch at like $50 and $60 at Walmart stores. It's pretty overly hoarded. Uh, I don't know if you know the next season of Bad Batch is going to help increase the popularity, if they're going to release more LEGO sets, if they'll re-release the minifigures. So it still should be a decent investment, but I have a hard time thinking that by next Christmas that set will be worth even $150. If you were able to pick it up on discount, well done. But buying an MSRP is probably a no-go for that set for investing. The other set that I unfortunately took off the list was the Bro Thor's new Asgard. Uh, that set had a huge discount on Black Friday from Target stores. It is a Target exclusive. I believe it's sold out on lego.com, but it was discounted down to $20 at target.com and Target stores, and the inventory didn't even clear out. I think the price has gone back up, back to 30 bucks, so if you wanna pick one up, you still can. It is probably your last chance to get one, but because lego investors and lego collectors didn't wipe out the entire inventory during the last sale the inventory might linger on um, target.com for a lot longer than i anticipated so i still think it'll be a good investment i think the bro thor minifigure itself at some point will be worth 20 and 25 dollars but for the top 10 list it had to be taken off because i don't think it's going to be the best investment going forward of course i took off the ninjago city gardens because it's been extended to 2024 i already talked about that but the set that I have not yet talked about is the Technic Bugatti Chiron. Uh, unfortunately, when I talked about this set back in May, we had a weird situation that was going on. So the set was supposed to retire at the end of 2021. It was extended because the Ferrari Daytona set was, that was supposed to be released got delayed. So they decided to extend the life of the Bugatti Chiron. At that time, it was out of stock at retailers everywhere. I actually didn't anticipate it to come in stock. So it had effectively retired. I think all the stock had dried up around Black Friday of 2021. At the time that I shot that video back in May of 2022, it had still not come back in stock. So I anticipated that Lego was done making it. And then every single retailer over the next couple months in June, July, and August started to get inventory of the 42083 Technic Bugatti Chiron. So because of that, I was less excited about being a really great investment long-term. It wasn't available on really heavy discounts. Uh, the best discount I found was like $50 off on Zavi.com. So unfortunately, you can still, I think, pick it up at a couple retailers at MSRP. The stock is slowly starting to dry up. I think it sold out on Lego.com, but I've had to take it off my list because Man, by next Christmas, I really don't think we're gonna see it at the $400 range. I'll be surprised. So maybe 420, but if you're able to pick it up on discount, great. Uh, but I think it's overly hoarded. I think people looked at how well the orange Porsche 911 did and thought I'm gonna invest in this set. And unfortunately, the fact that it got, I think pretty overly hoarded and it came back in stock on a bunch of different real retailers has hurt its investment potential. It will still be okay but I wouldn't even put it in the good or great category. I'm actually pretty bummed with the five that I currently have. So hoping it could get to the 400, 500 and $600 range in the next couple of years, but I'm not confident that it's going to be able to. Friends, Lego collectors and Lego vesters, hope this list was helpful to you. I hope you have a chance to pick up some of these for your personal collection if you are a collector. If you're an investor, if you have a chance to find any of these sets at MSRP, I would pick them up while you still can. Again, the goal from the Jake's Bricks YouTube channel is purely to help Lego collectors and fans like myself fund their building hobby through Lego investing and Lego reselling. Love hanging out with you guys. Hopefully, I'll be able to produce more videos here in the future. But as always, y'all, it's Jake from Jake's Bricks signing off. We'll see you guys.